time, people tend to develop post-traumatic holiday syndrome. And symptoms include weight gain, lethargy, and falsely believing that you'll get back to your normal routine tomorrow. Thankfully, there are ways of helping yourself ease out of this state. And today, I want to introduce you to one of them called tufting. It's basically making textile arts using a tufting gun, but in the form of a quite physical workout. That also helps to lose the extra pounds, relieve stress, and you're also making art at the same time, which might give you a sense of purpose for the new year. It's so popular among young Chinese people that it's setting off a retro trend in DIY handicrafts. Check this out. Does making your own handmade rug sounds difficult? With a tufting gun, you can actually make a rug with almost any pattern, whether a cartoon figure or a Chinese character you like. It starts with artists using tufting guns to make creations on blankets. It soon became very popular on the internet. Then many people wanted to try it themselves. But it's hard to collect wool with all the colors you want. So that's why studios like us emerged, and people can come experience this activity and bring back home their creations. And not only rugs, with a board, a piece of cloth, a pile of wool, and a gun, it's possible to create your own blankets, picture frames, fridge magnets, and even plush tote bags. So now I'm going to try it out myself. I really like this little cute flower, but since I'm clumsy in my hand, I decided to make a simplified version of it. And Mr. Mao here will guide me through it. It starts with drawing your desired pattern on the cloth. People can use projections for complicated designs, but in my case, simply a pen will do. After picking out wool of the chosen color, it's finally my most anticipated part, using the tufting gun. Let me give you a demonstration. Press the gun hard on the cloth. Turn on the switch. When the lights come on, push the trigger over and over, rhythmically lifting the gun up. Here we have made a vertical line. This is on the back, and on the front, the wool will burst into a bunch. We basically just need to fill the entire color block with countless vertical lines. Compared with many other DIY projects, I found tufting very easy to learn. All you need to do is push the gun towards the cloth and press the trigger. But it actually requires a lot of details to make it look good. And most importantly, it's physically demanding. Wow! After an hour of efforts, it's finally done. My hand feels very sore already. I couldn't imagine what it's like when you do it four or five hours in a row. Recently, videos about tufting have been trending at home and abroad. TikTok even has a hashtag Rock TikTok, which has been viewed more than 400 million times. This handicraft trend is also popular among young Chinese. Many people of Generation Z consider it one of their most stress-relieving pastime activities. I saw tufting online and found it very interesting, so I decided to come here and give it a try. I'm halfway down. It's tiring but fun. This is our second time here. I think it's meaningful to make something by ourselves, and it can bring back good memories every time we see it. During the pandemic, young people have been looking for new leisure activities, especially things they can do at home. Tufting is not only a way of releasing stress, but also a way to fully use young people's imagination and creativity.
Our customers are mostly young people, aged 20 to 30, college students or white-collar workers. Most of them knew tufting through the internet. Many of them want to make this as a gift for friends and family. Also, many young people are under a lot of pressure right now, and making organized stuff is very stress relieving. The gun, making tutu sounds, and creating organized lines, all these can make people feel good. After tufting, there are still some processes, like trimming the excess wool and gluing it to a mat. And then you can take home your own creation. Ta da! Even though it's very simple compared with others, but still very happy with the outcome. The whole process is very relaxing and fun. I think that's the reason why many young people chose to spend an afternoon in this activity. Thanks to CGTN, Beijing.